Hello again and welcome to the third section on CSS in Adobe Dreamweaver CS6. In the last section we found out a little bit more about CSS rules and we saw how changing the rules can affect the page. We also established that these rules really need to be shared in order to get consistency across a website. Now in just a moment I'm going to show you how to share the rules between all the pages of the site but before that I'd just like to show you one or two other things about the ways in which rules can be applied. Now this very simple example here shows what we call tag styling. And this is the method that I showed you in the previous section where you define a style, in this case it's a style for the P tag, and then it will be applied wherever that tag applies. Now in this case there's no class, there's no ID specified, so this will actually apply to all P tags. So in this case where I've got the style of text align center, it applies to P, here's a P, a paragraph, says normal paragraph. If I look at that in design mode, I can see that in fact the text is centered. Now there is another way of achieving the same thing which is called attribute styling where we directly apply the style to a tag. Now let's just see how that works. If we said after P style and then equals. Now we take the property and value then we can apply the style like that and in that case we no longer need the rule in the header so I can delete the rule now what I have is a style specifically specified in the specific tag in this case P. Now of course in this case it will only apply to the paragraph where I've got the style defined. Let's just double check that, go back into design, yep that's fine. But now put in another paragraph Let's take a look back again in design view and of course the second paragraph is not center align. Now this approach is an approach that works and in some situations you may find that because you want to do something quite specific and maybe in some situations because you can't quite figure out how to make something work using your CSS style sheet this is a way of cheating if you like. You can actually put a style on a specific element like that. Of course it's completely against the principle of sharing styles throughout your website but it does work in some situations where things are tricky. Now of course there is a certain amount of flexibility in this approach to applying a style as an attribute on a tag and if we take this specific example note that I can do this I could take that style section there I could take the style statement there cut it from the P tag and paste it into the body tag now note I still don't have a separate style definition in the header but now that style of text align center is applied to the body tag. Now what's going to happen when I look at this page in design view? You should be able to work out that when I look at it in design view of course both paragraphs are centered because the way that I've got the style applied to the whole body basically means that within this body text align center is the default within this body. Similarly, if I had this divided up into sections using divs, then I could apply the style to the div. So I've just quickly typed in some code to demonstrate that. My body is now divided into two divs. There's a div called part one and a div called part two. And on the part two div, I've added this style attribute, style equals text align center. 
Now note what that does when I look at the design view of the page is that the second div the text is centered and the first div it isn't. And of course don't forget you won't see all these lines. If you go into live view you text will just look like that. Okay so that is the use of attribute styles. Now let's really return now to what this section is mainly about and that is the use of an external style sheet. Now first of all we are going to create a folder to keep style sheets in. For the Springs Park website I anticipate using only one style sheet. For larger systems you may well have more than one and you may have style sheets from other projects where you perhaps use some of the styles from each of the sheets and you need to set several up. You need to have copies of several style sheets to achieve what you want to achieve. Most of the time, particularly when you're starting, one style sheet is probably going to do the job. Having said that, conventionally, and it is a good idea, it's a good idea to put your CSS style sheets all in one place. And the convention is to put them in a folder in the site root called CSS. Now you can create this folder of course using Windows Explorer in your version of Windows but you can add folders from the files panel so for instance if I right click here on site one of the options is new folder comes up with an untitled name I just call it CSS lowercase of course and that gives me the default name for the folder to contain my CSS style sheets. Now let me go back to the file menu again and look at new to bring up this dialog which we haven't seen for a while and you'll see that one of the options within this is new document blank page and then we have CSS now you can create a CSS, a cascading style sheet document using this option and then you can put your CSS code into it. That's a perfectly feasible option, obviously the way some people do it, but there is another way of doing it when you already have some CSS styles in a web page and you want to use those. That's the approach that we're going to take to making this style sheet. Now in order to follow that approach we need to look at the CSS styles panel. So click on window, click on CSS styles and it brings up this panel. Now this panel is one of those that you're going to be looking at quite a bit and it lists all of the CSS rules that we have and there's quite a few you saw them in the previous section we've got body we've got that group of ULOLDL all of those rules are listed they're exactly the same as the ones that we saw in the head of this page when we looked at it before and from this if you take a particular location, let's suppose you take this location here on the index page, just bring up that styles panel again, where you have a position in a page, you can list either all of the CSS rules, which is with this tab depressed, or you can list the current rules. So which ones apply here? Now in this particular location the rules that apply and there's a list of all the rules that apply exactly where I am now. I'm actually in an H1 tag at this point and this rule is the one that applies and here is a summary of the different attributes that apply because I'm in this position on the page and the HTML tags that currently apply are basically driving the CSS rules that I'm picking up. Now what I want to do is to basically move all of my CSS styles into an external style sheet. I can do them one at a time, I can do them all at the same time, I'm going to start by doing them all at the same time and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on all so I can see all of them then I'm going to select each of them. If I click once hold the control key down, click again I can basically click through all of the styles so just keep going so they're all selected alternatively hold the shift key down and click the last one so they're all selected then if I right click I have an option move CSS rules 
and when I click on move CSS rules it comes up with a dialog which says move to external style sheet. Now if I had a style sheet in force already I could choose that style sheet by clicking on browse perhaps looking in my CSS folder there aren't any sheets there at the moment but what I need to do is to create a new style sheet so I'm going to select new style sheet click on OK it looks in my root folder I'm going to put it into CSS so CSS folder give it a name now the file name I'm going to use is I'm afraid a little bit unimaginative as an extension of CSS and I've just called it Springs Park 01.css I'm leaving open the option there that I may want another or some other style sheets later on so that's what I'm going to call it click on save what now happens is that all of those CSS rules have been moved into that external style sheet now that will have caused several things to happen and we're going to look at those next So first of all let me open up the files panel and within the CSS folder I now have my cascading style sheet springspark01.css if I double click on that to open it up move the files panel out of the way for the moment and look at the cascading style sheet now thing to note here is a cascading style sheet is not a page of a website so there's no design view or live view there's no text to look at it just has the CSS rules in it the style definitions in it so starting at the top we have that body rule then we go down to ULOL deal it's basically the same content that we saw in the style section of the index page and it goes right through to the end of the rules that were in the page so that's our style sheet and that's the style sheet we're going to use from now on now let's go back to index.html the index page itself and let's go into code view for that and now what you see is whereas before we had a whole section between these style tags all of that has gone apart from little comment markers everything else has gone and in fact this style section we no longer need so I'm just going to delete it what we have instead is this line and this basically says this is a link to a style sheet and the reference for it is springspark01.css in the CSS folder which is of course a relative link to the root of our site so there we are we've replaced all of that code for the home page with a link to the style sheet now I think you can work out from that how we will apply the same style sheet to the other pages in the site now there are a couple of ways of doing this but let's just see a very straightforward option let's go say to the new arrivals page so open recent let's look at new arrivals now new arrivals is now opening code view what I'm going to do is to select all of its style definitions right down to the end of that section and, and I'm just going to delete that which seems a bit drastic but let's delete all that have a quick look at the page because of course the styles will have gone now so if I look in design of course I have a very strange page now because all of the CSS styles have gone back into code view but if I now click on the modify option on the menu and then click on CSS styles one of the options I have is to attach a CSS style sheet and if you hover down there is a link button there that says attach style sheet so click on attach style sheet I can browse for the style sheet springspark01 now I have a choice do I want to add this style sheet as a link 
or do I want to import the styles? Now that would be a bit of a crazy thing to do at the moment because we'd be importing all the styles we just deleted. But you can import the styles from a style sheet, actually put them in the head section of a page if you want to. Now clearly that's not what we want to do on this occasion. The whole purpose of this is to have all our pages using the same style sheet. So I'm going to leave that set as link and click on OK. And now the new arrivals page has that same link to the style sheet. Now I'm going to apply exactly the same to the other pages. Uh, if you're in roughly the same position with your site or sites, I suggest you do the same. And I'll join you again in a moment. So that's the last one done. If I look at any of the pages in Design View, of course they look exactly the same as they did before, even though each of them has lost its own styles. And they're now picking up the styles from the style sheet. Now if you're doing the same thing, just make sure everything's OK with yours as well. And that's it for this section. In the next section, we're going to carry on with CSS styles. We're going to look a little bit more at the effects that we can achieve on these current pages and the way we can use the styles panel to work out what's going on and to adapt what's going on in the styling of the elements of our pages. So please join me for that.